<laughs> oh my gosh, as I was just saying. Uh, I don't even know how it happened. Anyway, hi, welcome. <laughs> I received my first coach crate. <laughs> I have received monthly coach crates before. But this one is much more bigger. And, as I was saying, um, that says your best self. But anyway, the video cut out, so yeah. <laughs> so this is basically what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know why it cut out, so we're doing the short version of what I just went through. Oh my gosh, stupid thing. I don't know what happened. All right, so as I was saying, every month, personalized card. And it says, Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to your fall coach crate. This quarter week work through perfection so we can feel more grounded and happy. Your next shipment will supplement the items and work in this box. We've got three months of goodness planned for you. Here we go, Cassandra. So, oh, that's what I did, and then it stopped. Anyway, this box right here now, since it's quarterly, is $99 for three months. So, um, I will re be receiving a, like it said, uh, a supplement bubble envelope with something in it, probably next month, I don't know, I have no idea actually, <laughs> so we shall see, so uh, let's get this, oh, and please like and subscribe to my channel, <laughs> smash the like button, and please subscribe, it grows my channel, alright, so, and then, it says uh, there's going to be two workshops. The first one is obviously in October. I don't know when the next one is. But, gosh, my hair. I don't know. So, October will be uh, affirmations and visualization. Check your email. Okay, well, ta -da! So, that's that. And ooh, very, very nice. Nicely done. This is the breakdown, the fall quarterly breakdown. So every week it tells you what to do. Um, like the videos, like the fleck exercises, week and challenge, your quarterly reading, your book guide, workshops. Yeah, two workshops. And happy, happy journaling. And then on the back, there's like a literally a week to week breakdown. So the first week, um, reading and guide. Reading is the happy, not perfect. The book guide. And then it goes to week two, and all the way up to week 12. So that's cool. But yeah, there's so much information on here. Like literally so much information. It's crazy. So, the first thing I will see is this is an unofficial book guide for Happy Not Perfect by Poppy Jamie. And flexibility is the key to being happy, not perfect. <laughs> so, oops. <laughs> So the unofficial book guide um, actually has exercises in here for you to do. And uh, let's say like, uh, when are you, what? When are you most often on autopilot? Okay, and then what do you turn, what do you turn to that's familiar, but maybe not the best choice for you. Huh. So, I mean, there's tons of exercises for you to do in here. Uh, oh, here's a flex exercise challenge or challenge. Change your words. 
change your narrative. And it says to do this from page 176. Write down all of the stiff language you use. Replace each one with the flex word. Okay, so just like so. So there's like tons of stuff to do. Huh, okay. And then what insecurities do you most often try to cover up? We all have insecurities. Okay. But yeah, it makes you really think about things, you know, it's, it helps. It's good for your head. It's good for your mind, your soul. Um, if you have issues with something along the line, um, you actually work through them. So it's really cool. I mean, every month, well, okay, when it was monthly, <laughs> every month it was a different topic. So, and this month it, uh, so far, um, not positive, happy, not perfect not positive and then this is happy a daily journal by coach Craig so you open this up okay and then it says uh, three things I am grateful for today and then of course you have the date um how am I feeling today what can I get curious about today how will I bring love into my choices today Anything bothering me that I need to write and release? What are three more things I am grateful for? What is something I found or find beautiful or inspiring today? What are the goals I am working towards today? Negative thoughts that weighed me down and how I sh will shift them. What need of mine needs to be met in order to raise my energy and vibe what are the positives to the changes um, i'm sorry but <laughs> what are the positives to the challenges i might or have faced today so it's the same exact thing all the way throughout the book so every every day just fill it out so this that's cool and then we have our quarterly workbook with weekly trackers. This is for the fall. And the back of this, it says love, happiness, learning, joy, community, adventure, peace, friendship, value-based action, authenticity, authenticity, wisdom, trust, hope, kindness, compassion, freedom, connection, curiosity, discipline, Oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, over perfection. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's see what it says inside. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay, it says, Welcome to your fall coach crate. And then it literally gives you a breakdown right there. So, um, week one plan and checklist. So, we're, okay, I see. So, this is complete quarterly checklist. There's, whoops, yeah, there's that. And then this is week one checklist. And then week two plan and checklist is underneath. And then the FLEC exercises checklist right here. Yep, right there. And over here, it tells you which flex exercises to do that corresponds to this. So that's cool. I mean, it's very thorough, and that's one of the reasons why I like her. And plus, it helps me mentally on how to deal with certain things in my life. So, changes I've seen in my life since doing the work this quarter. What I would have, whoops, what I would have liked to have done better. My biggest takeaway from this quarter, 
Mm, awesome. So, and then here's the other book I, you must have. Good Vibes, Good Life. On official book guide. This one's from Vex King. So it's all, you know, just like another workbook, workbook that you work through. And this is probably for October, November. I don't know. I mean, October. This is October. Well, tomorrow. So this is probably November, December. I don't know. I'm thinking which things are easy to do even when you don't feel like doing them. Laundry. Not dishes. Heck no. Now I know why people have dishwashers. I mean, like, my God. It's like, I can't stand doing dishes. It's just one of those things. I let them pile up. Oh my gosh. It's like, oh my God, I can't. How many of you actually like doing dishes? Inquiring minds want to know. I'm curious. Do you like doing dishes? Put it down in the comments below. I'm curious. Because <laughs> I can't stand it. I mean, I would actually hire someone just to do the dishes. Come in every other day, do dishes. I just can't stand them. <laughs> just one of those things. Okay. So then we have... It's a Chloe Emerald Professional Ice Roller. And does it say anything exciting? Let's see. Self-care. Here we go. Ice roller. Pop this roller in the freezer. Then use to relax tension. And okay. Well, okay. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. I've seen these um, in different boxes that you can get. And I think on commercials. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, that's cold. I don't know. Oh, okay. It, it does roll. I don't know. I don't know how to use this. I know there's directions. Yep, there is. Okay, the benefits is to decrease pore size and improve skin tone. Oh, Oh, you do it for your face. Okay. Reduce the look of blemishes, fine lines and wrinkles, reduce and eliminate facial puffiness, and under eye circles. Oh, so it's for the face. Okay. Uh, soothe inflammation and redness. How to use. Apply to skin <laughs> on face and or body. Okay. Body. There we go. For best results, leave ice roller in the freezer for at least four hours prior to use. Works best on fully clean skin without makeup. <laughs> use one to two times daily or as often as needed. Daily? Wow, okay. Avoid using this tool if you are on blood thinners or have clotting disorders. Also avoid this technique if you had any surgery or open cuts on the face. Okay, that's cool. Well, oops, I will try it out. <laughs> See how it is. I don't know. Might be my new best thing. All right. I've always wanted to try it, so I'll just kind of put it over here. <laughs> okay. Next in line, and this is a nail by detox. Did I show you this? I'm sorry. Sorry if I did not. Um, that's what it looks like. This is the back of the ice roller, and this is a mask, obviously for your face. Can't see it too well. Well, detox. Okay. Uh -oh. Right here, detox. Black fossil wood mask. As you detox your thoughts, detox and nourish your face with this organic based 
mask. And it's cool. It has a wooden top. I mean, really, how cool is that? It's wooden. How neat. <laughs> how cool is that? So, this is nice. Yep. Wood mask. How funny. That's yeah, cool. All right. That's going to be useful. I like mask. Okay. It looks like a candle. It's a 100% soy candle with healing stones. From Willow Collective. Really pretty. So, Willow Collective self care candle. Increase your self love and recharge time with this rose quartz embedded candle. Hmm. It's really a pretty box. Got my guys. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah. Oh god. Okay. Well, apparently, um, apparently it melted a little. It's really uh, slimy. Wow. Okay. Oh god. I'm gonna have to wipe this, wipe this off. Oh my gosh. Just kind of want to show you. Oh hello. So this is what it looks like inside. You can kind of see the stones. I don't want to drop it. There we go. See it? So yeah, these are the rose quartz. That's cool. It smells nice. It smells a little bit of vanilla-y. Hmm. That's really cool. But I'm going to have to definitely, uh, oh, you can kind of see it. It's Wow. It's very, look at my hands. It's oily. I mean, it's like oily. I mean, it's really pretty though. Look at that. Really pretty candle. Let's see what it says. Um, you, your, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe deserve your love and affection. <laughs> That's cool. I really like this, but oh my gosh, I have to. Oh, yikes. Oh, if I can only, uh, huh, I'm going to have to pause this because this is ridiculous. Oh God, that scared me. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to pause this without turn it off. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Oh my god. Oh, here's a napkin. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't want to touch anything because it's gonna, you know. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and of course it's on the stop button. Of course, you know, of course. So, uh, okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, I will be. Of course, what's wrong with this thing? I will be right back. <laughs> okay, hello. I'm back. <laughs> I washed my hands, nice and clean. All right, that was horrible. I mean, you know, it's like oil everywhere <laughs> so yeah I don't know so the next on the list there's so much crinkle <laughs> like oh my gosh okay book number one. Oh, let's see book number one is good vibes good life <laughs> I'm from Vex King says how self-love is the key to unlocking your greatest life. 
be the best version of you that you can be. All right. And it says, this is the perfect guide for those who are seeking a way out of darkness and want to live a more beautiful and meaningful life. Hmm. Yep. Uh, it says, write down your goals. That's one of the chapters, I guess. Um, going beyond, whoops, going beyond thoughts, manifesting goals, mind work. <laughs> Be kind and forgive yourself. Absolutely right. Value your inner beauty. Let your good vibes, let your good vibes roll. Let your good vibes protect you. Being there for others. Absolutely. Facing family. You can outgrow clothes, hobbies, jobs, friends, and even family members. We evolve past things that don't contribute to our joy and well-being. Just because they're your family, it doesn't mean they have the best intentions for you. Many of us are taught <laughs> that there's nothing more important than family. But biological relationships don't always equal supportive, close relationships. Friends can be more like family than family itself. We shouldn't conceal the fact that sometimes it's our own family members who are the most toxic people in our lives. Right? Absolutely. It's true. I have a best friend who's, who's basically a sister to me. She's more closer to being a sister than some of my friends family. It's like my sister Sandra and I just, you know, I mean, my whole family loves her. Literally, whole family loves her. My mom and dad loved her. I mean, literally just, we just love Tina. <laughs> She's just my best, 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 best friend. We all have to have that one best friend. When we have friends, I'll, I'll be, you know, absolutely. But Tina, she's my best, best, best friend. She's my go-to for everything. Like, literally, we take trips together, you know, just, she's my best friend. <laughs> I'm glad I have her in my life. She saved my life more than, more than I would like to admit. <laughs> like literally saved my life. Saved my life from the ocean. And I grew up with the ocean. But when you're 13, 14 and you're drunk at a bonfire, and you're doing poor, poor me, poor, poor me, and you just don't care. You just literally go out there and try to drown yourself, and the waves are just taking you away. And it's pitch black out there, obviously. And <sighs> Tina happened to come and pulled me out of the water. <laughs> I wasn't drowning, but I was too drunk to get up. <laughs> You know, when you're 13, 14, you know, you know, <laughs> so yeah, she saved my life. If she had not come, I would probably be dead right now. Many times. <laughs> so thank you, Tina. All right. My next book, Happy, Not Perfect from Poppy Jamie. That's a different name. Poppy Jamie hmm. says, upgrade your mind, challenge your thoughts and free yourself from anxiety. Yeah. We all have anxiety. It's so common. My core beliefs turned into hmm, workaholism. Wow. Hmm, I used to be a workaholic. But, you know, I just love my job so much. I was a workaholic. Now I'm a lazyholic. Cruel or kind? The body of love uh, says healthy digestion 
the body of fear, sluggish digestion, regular heart rate, heart rate, the body of fear, high blood pressure, body of love, better sleep, body of fear, someone who can't sleep, which is me. Wow. Okay, then. This is going to be a fun book. Huh. Take values based action. Honesty, um, compassion, optimism, loyalty, joyfulness. This is going to be a cool book. Why are we so haunted? The past leaves a mark on your permanent record. That it does. Absolutely. You know, and they always say, oh, you need to forgive. You know, yeah, I tried forgiving. I can't. I try to work out my problems. <laughs> Maybe someday. Someday when I die, I'll forgive that person or not. I don't think I ever will. So, well, there's been like three people that I can count on my fingers on one hand who has screwed me over. And I will never, never forgive them. <laughs> but oh well. That's life. And it says, get more, do more, into I have enough, I am enough. Oh, that's a pretty page. Flex confidence. Ooh, look at that. And then over here it says, I'll tell you what freedom is to me. No fear. I mean, really, no fear. From Nina Simone. <laughs> This is going to be a cool book. Ooh, there's a test. Ooh. It's the FOPO Flex test. Oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> says, do you have an imposter syndrome? Wow. Huh. Are you enough? So why, con so why compare? Hmm. Before the test, I'm convinced that I'll fail. <laughs> but then I usually do pretty well. Hmm. Yeah. Unless I know it really well, but yeah. Okay. To other people, I come off as a lot more com competent than I really am. I don't know. Uh, praise feels terrible. I'm convinced that I'll never live up to it again. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> okay, one more. I start out every new project with the expectation that it'll be worse than my last. Oh, no. No, not at all. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, this is going to, oh, and then there's like a know yourself. Um, in your life, what matters the most to you? My daughter. My dogs. What are your greatest strengths? Hmm. <laughs> well, if I really believe in the product, I love selling it because it's not really selling because I just believe in the product so much. You know, I just like talking about it. What is the proudest accomplishment in your life? <laughs> I have a few. My daughter, I don't know. Um, me being a manager for Harry and David. That was pretty exciting. What does a perfect day look like? Mm. Me at the beach. What makes you feel excited in the morning? That I woke up? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why can't you know? Oh, what can't you know enough about? Insurance. <laughs> How would you describe yourself? Yeah, no. We're not going there. What lessons in life? Did you learn the hard way? Oh, wow. 
speeding. <laughs> Who do you look up to and why? Oh man, there's a few people that I look up to. Uh, what lessons in life? Oh, I just wrote that. I just said that. Okay, well, so that's the other book. So I'm excited. So these are, whoops, old books that I have to read in three months, which is not going to be a problem. And then if you saw um, my other unboxing, that's a book also. So that'll be one book a month. Plus my company, um, they also have a book of the month also. So, and I should be reading a book anyway every week. So, you know, sometimes depending on the book, I do read one every week depending on the book. So, I don't know. Depends. But the one that I just did the unboxing for um, before this one. It's a really big book. And then this is a pretty thick book too. This one, um, this one I could probably read in a week if I really tried. But this also, where is it at? I will show you. See, this book goes with the official book guide. So along with the book you read, um, let's say you read chapter one, then you, you fill this out. So this will take at least, you know, this will take a month. <laughs> so this will help. So each book, there is an unofficial book guide that goes with it. So that's cool. That will help go through your challenges and whatnot and then and then the daily journal that you fill out. So this will be fun. I mean I have something similar to this um, for the daily journal like three things I'm grateful for. My sister bought me a book that says what is the name of it? Three, three good things for the day. And every day you just write, you know, what three things you were grateful for for that day. And of course it was, you know, my dogs and my parents. And uh, now that my parents are gone, I literally haven't filled it out because I'm grateful for many things like my daughter, but, uh, and the, the roof over my head, <clears throat> knock on wood, but you know, there we go. Happy. So three things. What three things are you grateful for every day? Put in the comments. What three things are you grateful for? I would really like to know. Okay. That's all in my box. Um, that says uh, outside the box. Um, the growth. Okay. Then yeah, you get the quarterly videos and challenge. Uh, okay, and then your growth content. So affirmations and visual visualization workshop, which is the 12, as I've mentioned. The community, which is a central location for connecting with other coach creators, discussing the topics and getting support. And then it says, be sure to read the quarterly welcome email. Okay, yeah. Um. This quarter, we work through the perfectionist, our perfectionist tendencies in order to take risk as well as be engaged and connected to the present moment. We work on keeping our energy high, shifting limiting thoughts, and moving through life with more ease. <laughs> okay, guys. That was all of my Coach Crate box. My favorite box of all boxes. I really like this box. So thank you again, Cassandra. Cassandra. I, I butchered names. I'm sorry. It's probably Cassandra. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's literally my favorite box. And now that it's going to be quarterly, it's going to be, oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. Because uh, last month we didn't get one. So I was like, oh my gosh, a month without it. So at least, you know, there's two books. So I, I, 
I'm curious to know what's going to be in the mailer next month. Because I think it's next month. I don't know. So I'm curious. All right, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if uh, anyone that you know would be interested in learning more about Coach Craig, go ahead and send them my video and uh, have them watch it. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. Have a good month. <laughs> as soon as I turn this off, <laughs> bye. <laughs>